Here's the Elk Sports News Network with Caitlin Ulmer and Sophia Kaiser. Hello, BHS. I'm Caitlin Ulmer. And I'm Sophia Kaiser. And we're bringing you the joy of sports. I thought we were bringing the bone-crunching, violent pain of sports. Exactly. <laughs> The volleyball team played at home in the tournaments last Tuesday. The girls began with a strong first game, but then they lost the last three games, eventually bowing out of the tournament. Then last Friday, they were supposed to play another game, but apparently the other school double booked, so the game was canceled. The Miami football team played the Timber Creek Falcons last Thursday. It was an intense game that had to be taken into overtime. At halftime, we were in the lead 41 to 20, but the Falcons staged a strong comeback and by the end of the fourth quarter, we were tied at 41. In overtime, we eventually lost 44 to 47. It was an exciting game that our boys tried their hardest. Now, here's the news from the NFL. Houston Texans linebacker and first pick of the draft, Jadavion Clowney, was on his way to being one of the most exciting defensive players in the NFL. Unfortunately, a knee injury could keep him out of the lineup if it ends up being serious. Houston is seriously looking toward the future with the young star. So it would not be surprising to see the coaching staff remain extra cautious at this stage in his career. Still, the future is bright for Clowney. As soon as he is able to return to action, he's certain to wreak havoc on opposing offenses. The Pittsburgh Steelers, Antonio Brown, tried to hurdle Cleveland Browns punter Spencer Lane during a return in the second quarter of Sunday's game. That didn't work out so well as Lane took a pretty hard kick to the face. For anyone who didn't know it before, players aren't allowed to kick other players in the face. After the game, Brown talked about kicking Lane in the face, commenting, no intent to hurt him. I had my mind made up that he was going under me. I thought he was going low and I tried to leap over him. It was just a bad outcome of a play. After this, Lane had a pretty good humor about it. He recently tweeted, wait, 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 wait. When did this happen? We at Envision hope he regains his memory soon. Yeah, good thing he isn't holding any grudges. Well, Brown did claim it was an accident. I guess we will never know for sure. Well, that's all for sports this week. I'm Caitlin Ulmer. And I'm Sophia Kaiser. And you're watching Envision. Have a great day, BHS.